Hello, eighth graders. Welcome to module five for this third trimester 2020. And in this class, we're going to be dealing with the last type of essay that you will be seeing this year, the compare contrast essay. Now, I wanna congratulate you for all the work you've been doing. I can see where most of you have really tried and you're really getting better. And I'm truly proud of you and I congratulate you. Let's get right into this. The Compare Contrast essay is super special and one of my favorites. And it's an essay in which you tell me how two things are alike and how they're different. So to compare means to say how they are alike, iguales, and to contrast is how they are different. So we're gonna start with a simple chart. You're not going to be writing a paragraph or an essay in this class. You're only going to be completing a chart. Let's say you need to compare and contrast virus and bacteria. They're not the same thing, and I hope you know that. We're gonna write in this column, in this row, how they are alike, and over here, how they're different. Let's start with the similarities, how they're alike. Both of them can cause infections. Both of them are microorganisms. Some are good and some are harmful. They're good bacteria, harmful bacteria. They're good virus and harmful virus, and both of them can spread through coughing and sneezing. Both bacteria and virus can spread through coughing and sneezing. Now, let's see how they're different. A virus is smaller than a bacteria, like way, way smaller than a bacteria. A virus is not a living thing, and then you need to be very clear on this. A bacteria is a living thing, a virus is not. A virus requires a plant, a person, or an animal to multiply. So because a virus is not alive, it needs to be living inside a plant, an animal, or a person. And a virus cannot be destroyed by antibiotics. Bacteria, yes, because bacteria are living things, not viruses. So those are the differences between viruses and bacteria. So now it's your turn. Let's practice. For this assignment, you're going to be completing this chart. And you're going to compare and contrast Facebook and Instagram. So you're going to tell me how they are alike and how they are different. This part is worth 16 points. Tell me four ways in which Facebook and Instagram are alike and four ways in which they're different. And the second part is what would be a good title for an essay on this topic? If I should tell you to write an essay comparing and contrasting Facebook and Instagram, what would be a good title? And you give me that. That's worth five points. Please remember how titles in English are written. You can either write everything in capital letters or only the first letter of each word in capital letters. Remember that. If you do not write it correctly, that's five points off. And we have been saying this for a long time. So make sure you get this right. One more time, you are not writing a paragraph or an essay in this assignment. You are completing this chart and giving me a title correctly written in English. If you have any questions or any comments, please, please, please send me an email to it must be English at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to answer you. I'm super proud of you. You're doing a great job. Follow the instructions, pay attention, and have fun with this. See you next time. Bye-bye.